General, Minister Kirchu, Minister Popa, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Domnilor și Domnilor. I am honored and delighted to stand before you today on this special occasion as we come together to celebrate Romania's National Day here in London. A warm welcome to each and every one of you. I extend my sincere appreciation to Secretary General, Mr. Kitak Lim, for his gracious support and presence at this event hosted in the welcoming premises of the International Maritime Organization. A fitting setting, considering Romania's significant role as one of the largest suppliers of seafarers globally. Distinguished guests, 1st of December holds a profound significance for Romanians, commemorating the historical events that led to the unification of our great nation. In 1918, a monumental step was taken towards unity, bringing together Transylvania, Basarabia, and Bukovina with the Kingdom of Romania. It is worth reminding that this ideal of national unity was reached with the extraordinary contribution of one of the most beloved historical figures, Queen Marie of Romania, born in Kent as a British princess and granddaughter of Queen Victoria, whose brilliant diplomatic skills were pivotal to the unification of the Romanian provinces. Dear friend, as we reflect on the year 2023, we find ourselves navigating an international landscape marked by numerous security challenges and evolving global dynamics. The brutal invasion of Ukraine by Russia continues to threaten security at the borders of the European continent, and not only while the deepening crisis in the Middle East adds further complexities to the geopolitical landscapes. landscape. Romania is deeply saddened by the loss of all civilian human lives, Israeli and Palestinians alike, and remains committed to promote all efforts leading to a just and lasting peace as the only viable means to avoid the recurrent spiral of violence. 
Against the, the backdrop of this turbulent geopolitical context, Romania has been one of the most committed European actors in terms of security, keeping its support for Ukraine high on the agenda. Sharing a long border with Ukraine, Romania has been crossed by over 6.5 million refugees. We established humanitarian hubs to provide international aid and facilitated the transport of Ukrainian grains and goods, and much more. The Black Sea region is of utmost importance to Romania's maritime and economic security. As a NATO member, Romania has demonstrated its commitment to decisive actions by allocating 2.5% of our GDP to defense, by standing at the forefront of efforts to ensure security, safety, and freedom of navigation in the Black Sea, as well as by advocating for increased assistance to vulnerable partners in the region, including the Republic of Moldova and Georgia. Romania takes pride in its energy security, being one of the least dependent states on Russian oil and gas, as we produce 70% of our gas demand and a third of our oil demand. With a diverse energy mix and a significant share of renewable energy, Romania stands as a reliable player in the global energy landscape. My country is also an increasingly attractive destination for British investment, while bilateral trade is flourishing. The UK holds the 10th position in Romania's list of trading partners, at the foremost rank in its trade surplus, reflecting the substantial economic interdependence and advantageous trade dynamics. On the cultural agenda, I am happy to see more and more projects promoting the rich and diverse Romanian creativity, and many Romanian artists performing in the UK. I encourage you to, stand, to stay tuned for the exciting program of the Romanian Cultural Institute in London for the next year. Distinguished guests, in the face of global challenges, the commitment of democratic countries relies on collective responses and joint actions from the international community. The long-standing Romanian-British partnership has witnessed key moments in 2023, enhancing cooperation in various fields. This year's highlights included the renewal of the Romanian-British strategic, strategic partnership in March, after 20 years since its launch here in London, the first ever bilateral forum, the visit of the Romanian Minister of Defense, and many other bilateral visits on multiple domains. A special moment was the visit of His Majesty King Charles III to Romania, the first visit abroad after the coronation. His Majesty's affection for our country and heritage honors us immensely. In a multilateral context, we celebrate the election of former Romanian Foreign Minister Bogdan Aurescu as the first ever Romanian judge at the International Court of Justice and the election of Ambassador Simona Miculescu as chair of the UNESCO General Conference. Our deepest gratitude to all the countries that supported Romania in these elections. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot conclude without acknowledging the vital role played by the vast Romanian community in the UK. Comprising more than 1.2 million Romanians, our community serves as a crucial bridge in our relations contributing significantly to the British economy and society. Their presence has elevated the Romanian language to the third most spoken language in England and Wales, according to the last census. London is the capital with the most Romanians after Bucharest and Chisinau. It's no wonder that the Consulate General in London provides the highest number of consular services from our entire consular network worldwide. The number of Romanians who have been elected local councillors in the UK is increasing, providing clear proof of their special abilities to stand out, to integrate. I could elaborate for hours about how brilliant our community is, but we have limited time. Some of them are present here today, and with your understanding, I would like to address a few words in this Romani, Ziua Națională este pentru mine, pentru noi, un nou prilej de a, vă, de a vă avea toate, de a sărbători împreună tot ceea ce ne leagă ca români, 
aflați departe de România, dar totuși solidari, coagulați într-o comunitate ale cărei voci sunt cu fiecare an care trece din ce în ce mai sonore, mai implicate și respectate aici în Redatul Lui. Ne-am reunit astăzi într-un format inedit, având alături și partenerii din mediul diplomatic, care au ocazia astfel să vă cunoască și să înțeleagă mai bine cât de importantă și cât de esențială este dimensiunea umană a relației bilaterale România-Marea Britanie. Vă felicit cu ocazia Zilei Naționale și vă mulțumesc pentru tot ceea ce ați realizat în acest an, nu numai pentru România și imaginea românilor aici, ci și pentru Marea Britanie. Sunteți unul dintre cele mai importante aseturi ale României. Atât eu cât și colegii din ambasadă, precum și colegii din consulatele generale din Londra, Manchester și Edinburgh, suntem alături de dumneavoastră și dorim să continuăm această cooperare în proiectele care ne așteaptă în anul care vine. Îl salut și pe domnul secretar de stat de la Departamentul pentru Românii de Preguntinte, domnul Gheorghe Cârciu, pe care vă invit să îl asediați cu propuneri de proiecte, și pe doamna director Diana Cuibuș de la Institutul Gimbi Române, aflată în Londra pentru selectarea profesorilor care urmează să predea opțional limba română în școli din Marea Britanie. Ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, Second time that I'm saying before I continue. <laughs> I would like to thank our sponsors this evening, Straero, Malway Logistics, Aqua Carpatica, and wine producers Kai de la Leta and Krama Yuza. Thank you for your attention and I hope you'll enjoy the reception a bit later, not before introducing our special guest, guest from the British government, Minister Nusrat Ghani, currently serving as Minister of State jointly in the Department for Business and Trade and the Cabinet Office. Minister Ghani, I'm deeply grateful for your acceptance of the today. You have the floor, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ministers, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to join you to mark your national day. It's great to be reunited with all of you who have worked hard to strengthen and expand our bilateral relationship. UK-Romanian diplomatic relations span 140 years, but our trading links stretch back further still to the days of the Roman Empire. Today, we have developed a thriving modern partnership, but trade and business ties continue to be a core part of what brings us together. I know that National Day is an opportunity for many Romanians to celebrate the past, and it's also a moment to look ahead to the future. The UK intends to be very much part of that future as our relationship continues to grow. As a Minister for the Department of Business and Trade, it has been wonderful to see increasing numbers of British companies spanning everything from renewables to steel and consumer goods to recycling, expanding and thriving in Romania. <laughs> and total trade in goods and services between our nations has reached a record high of £9 billion in the year to March. But we're not standing still, far from it. We'll continue to develop and enhance this partnership. The strategic partnership that we signed last year was a clear illustration of this intent underlining our shared desire to expand cooperation, including promotion of trade, investment and entrepreneurship. And it's been a real joy for me to play my own very small part in furthering this relationship as a DBT Minister. In September, I attended the Three Seas Initiative Summit and Business Forum in Bucharest, where I led a delegation of 20 British companies, focusing in the areas of transport, energy and digital infrastructure. I'd like to thank the President Dionis and the Ambassador as well um, for opening up and inviting me and give them a huge amount of thanks and congratulations for the remaining government for hosting this important meeting a second time. Finally, I want to pay tribute to the remaining government for its enormous support to Ukraine. Where it mattered most, Romania <coughs> just stepped up. Over 4 million Ukrainians have transited through Romania, and 90,000 refugees have been brought to safety. Your efforts have also ensured 4 million tons of grain a month is reaching the world through Romania. You have also supplied vast quantities of military equipment to Ukraine too. The Ambassador knows this is a, a personal passion project of mine as I am the UK Minister for Reconstruction with the Deputy Prime Minister of Ukraine. So a personal thanks from me to you as well. 
I know all these efforts have come at a cost and that Romania has had to make difficult domestic decisions and your friends and allies are very thankful for your contributions. Now, I know I'm standing between you celebrating tonight and having a glass of champagne, so I'm going to end. And looking back over our joint work in the past year, we have found that time and time again that we just share the same goals as NATO allies and as bilateral partners too. So we celebrate today, looking forward to our continued work together over the years ahead, and I look forward to playing my small part. Thank you for listening, and let's celebrate the evening.